Assalamualaikum and good morning to the MC, honorable judges, teachers, and my dear friend. Today, I would like to tell you a story entitled, Money Can Buy Everything. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. There is a kid named Sewon. He is the only child of a famous businessman in town. Sewon is nine years old now. He misses the time when he and his father used to spend time and play outdoor together. Sewon's father is a busy businessman. He generally come home when Sewon is already asleep and is off to the office before Sewon wakes up. Samuel young free for the attention. He becomes sad. Every time he sees his friend spending time with the father. However, one day several father surprise him. He is early today. Samuel wrote to his father and helped him take leave. Love you, Dad. It's a pleasant surprise. You are home. His father looked at him and said, This is my son. My meeting was cancelled. But after a couple of hours, I have a flight to catch. The new upset him. Then will, will you be back? He asked his father in return. His father replied, Tomorrow evening. Samuel was very sad. On his head, on his bed while his father was picking the suitcase with files. Suddenly, he asked his father, Dad, oh, how much you earn for a year? His father busy shopping files and said, Why? That is a big mom. You won't understand. Simon waited for a minute and asked again, How much you earn for a hour? His father was confused by his son's question and yet replied, Maybe I am 25 ringgit per hour. Why are you asking this? Samuel ran to his room and came back with a piggy bank and handed it over to his father. I have RM50 ringgit. Can you spare me two hours? I have a book and an appointment to go to the beach and have dinner with you at tomorrow evening. Can you please mark on your schedule? His father looked surprised. Slowly brought into the air and hugged his own tightly. The moral we do, we can look for in this story. Then wait a week one. Please, and stay by expensive gift and give them your time and wonderful memories to be remembered.